Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. Today I have a deck that is called Shin and Rin. This of course is a Shin deck and we are showcasing the um, newly reworked epic unit from Ionia, Rin Shadow Blade. Um, I wonder if Shin and Rin are twins. Maybe? I don't know. It would be kind of cool to have like a good evil sort of um, narrative going on here with the two of them, but I'll come out and say it. This is not probably the most optimized deck for Rin Shadow Blade, simply because Rin Shadow Blade is not, in my opinion, completely viable yet. He's better than he was, but he doesn't really fit in any sort of deck. I think they're going to have to tinker around with him a little bit more in order to make him actually worth putting in a deck. I've only got two of him in this deck, and he does synergize pretty well with Shin, simply because Shin can support him with his barrier ability, making it easy to make contact with the Nexus or an enemy without taking damage. So that's kind of nice in that way, and you can, and he's an engine for producing these Shadow Fiends. Um, I'm actually going against another Rin Shadow Blade deck in this video that utilizes Demacia as well and some barriers, but they use um, Lucian, which could be a potentially interesting way of using him as well and getting all of these generated ephemeral units and quickly leveling up Lucian. Now, this is a standard Shin deck basically besides Rin Shadow Blade. So we are running barrier cards like Break Steel Formation, Stand United, Repost, um, Spirits Refuge. We have, of course, one Key Guardian, three Bright Steel Protectors and a full set of green glade caretakers. Nothing really special about that. That They all seem pretty standard in Shin decks in order to level up Shin and then finish off the game. Um, late game potential with the Bright Steel formation. Now, um, because we're running Ionia as well, we have basically all of the Ionia cards that you need in a deck. So Will of Ionia um, and Deny. Now we have a support champion in Zed, only two of him. Um, and then the last notable card really is the Death Mark. If we produce a Shadow Fiend or have the Living Shadow from Zed, we can use the Death Mark to get rid of a pesky champion or or another pesky card that's that will otherwise be hard to get rid of. So that can come in handy. Um, that's about it for this video. Go ahead, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment a card that you would like to see in an upcoming deck, one that's not used or you feel could um, have potential. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Let's protect their own. Fine and wisp, steady my hand! They'll never see me coming! Take me if you can! One with the land. There's a chill in the air. Intruders! Stand and fight! Nature blesses her followers! No room for doubt. No closer! Dark beckons. 
Push back the darkness. Two worlds, one balance. Enforced equilibrium. I will play my part. Protect and strike! Looking for this? Virtue guides me! Strike for justice! Understood. Kinku go where they are needed. My life for these lands! I've always got your back. Don't worry about me. You're covered. Dude. The balance has been maintained. You are the shadow of nothing. Who would trespass here? Silent as death. The order rewards its faithful. Understood. Protect their own. There's a chill in the air.
Let's end this. You will be scoured from this land. Don't worry about me. Their screams pierce the darkness. Damn. Not escape. Heat. 